the votes are in. They've been counted and verified. There's no ballot stuffing. There's no foul play. The only red wave this season is going to be a German Shepherd commander knocks over the cranberry sauce on our table. I hereby part. Yes. I hereby pardon chocolate and chip. Okay, I like the thing about the dog and the cranberry sauce. That's actually like if you're gonna have, you know, folks see old Joe Biden, that's the sort of line he should be giving. Uh, why they named the turkeys chocolate and chip, that seems weird. And I will say that I, I don't want turkeys to needlessly die. But if you are going to do this pardoning the turkey tradition, you have to occasionally mix it up and not pardon them. Like I'm not saying constantly, but one out of seven years. He should whip out a sword and he should kill the turkeys, right? Because otherwise, it's just rope. He's going through the motions. We know what's going to happen. I don't want any harm to befall, to befoul any foul. But um, I don't know. It's just it's a weird thing. Why why do we go through these motions with the pardoning the turkey? I don't know. I'm curious what you think, Jordan, because I know you're not interested in a lot of this um, pageantry of the White House and all that. Yeah, I I never understood this tradition. It's very weird. Um, but yeah, I think if we're gonna go for a twist ending, you know, have him actually like I don't want to see him kill one, but like you know, mix it up, kick it to the Supreme Court and see if they grant a stay of execution or just like <laughs> <laughs> so the Supreme Court decides like no, nope, this turkey has to be put down. Uh, you know, just get the other branches involved. Why not? I not a fan. I think it's kind of a waste of time. But like I did like that. This is credit to speech writers and, and comms team. Good to work in just another dunk on Republicans uh, just totally airballing this election. Yeah. Uh, and then their whiny, uh, disingenuous cries over, you know, election fairness and stolen elections going back that years now. That was yeah. nice, but overall it just it's this whole thing has always struck me as a big waste of time. Yeah, the only thing about the, and I'm being uh, being a uh, Buzz Killington or whatever, but when he makes the joke about like the claims of like fake elections and stuff, like you know that's funny at first, but like Trump is gonna run again. Like you you guys could like actually investigate him. Like you could do something about the crimes that he's done. Like I get that it's a joke or whatever, but it's also not a joke in a very real way. There's lots of Republican like Kerry Lake could be the vice president in a couple of years, so maybe take it seriously. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.